Hey guys, this is Martin from iTech, and today I'll be showing you how to move a Minecraft Pocket Edition world from one device to the other. Now, this is more like a duplicate version, so we duplicate the file and then put it over to the other device. But for it, this is not like syncing them. So if we if we plant one of them and then like what we built on one of them will not be on the other one. So it's just basically moving the world to the other one, and then you'll have what you had on the previous one on the net one where you moved it. Um, and it's also really interesting, if you move the world, you'll spawn in the same place, even if you were maybe building a building somewhere, then if you move it to your uh, iPad, for example, from your iPhone, then you will spawn in the same place where you were previously. So that's really good. Uh, so what I did here is just generated a new world on my iPod to show you. Uh, we're just gonna simply, this is a creative world, and I think we're just gonna put blocks here just to be able to see that just build a tower and then and then that's it and then we're gonna be up on the top now I'm not sure we're gonna spawn here I was just that's what happened for me previously hopefully that's what's gonna happen so then we have this we're gonna quit the title from our world world that we had and then we're gonna plug in our device into our computer now it's best to have a Mac here, I'm not sure if it works with the PC. What you want to do is download a um, app called iExplorer. Now that's not on the App Store. So what you're going to have to do is... Uh, go here. And I'll have this link in the description for you to download this. And then it starts downloading immediately because I went on the downloading link. Uh, so then you'll have the DMG file, and then you can install it. That's really simple, so you don't really uh, need me for that. So I'll have this link in the description, so you can download that. So when you have that, you're going to have to open it. And we're just going to run a demo. That doesn't matter because it works with it, too. I'm just going to click Continue with Demo. And then you're going to go here to your apps. And you're going to find Minecraft Pocket Edition. Here we have it. And then here, you have to go to Documents. And I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. So you have to click on Documents, the little thing down next to it. Drop down Menu, Games, and then Com, Mojang, and then Minecraft Worlds. And then you have all your Minecraft Worlds under each other. Now you're going to have to select the world that you just made. So mine's called Video. So you're going to select your world, and then you're simply going to drag it out onto your desktop. And then you have it on your desktop. Now, as you can see, this just opens this folder, but you still have it here on your device. But you've also got it on your desktop. So now what you want to do is you don't have to eject or anything. Just get your device, pull it out. And then you're going to want to plug in your other device that you're going to load it onto. So in my case, it's my iPhone. As you can see. So we just plug it in. So then you're going to go on apps the same way. You're going to go on Minecraft Pocket Edition. Documents, Games, and then Minecraft Worlds. And uh, now you have this here. You're going to have to close iTunes. Uh, so you have video. This is what I had as my world out here on, de on my desktop as a folder. All you want to do is drag it in here, drop it, and you have it here as your world. Now, it's done. Yeah, it's done working because it was, it, you can see it working when it's here. Uh, so now it's done. No ejecting or anything. Just pull your device out. And I'm going to show you that it's there. So as you can see, I'm in Minecraft now. And it's not the first one, but it's the second one. So we're just going to go on it. Remember, we had a tower in it. And we spawn on top of the tower. Same way where we left it. So thanks for watching this quick video, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope it helped a lot. And uh, please like and subscribe. 
and uh, comment on the video. Comment on the video if you have any uh, questions or anything you want to know. Uh, then please comment. And as I said, the iExplorer link will be in the description, and it's completely free. All of this that I did. So uh, as I said, subscribe and like the video and uh, share if you think it's good. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.